Welcome to Gray Overload. I'm Anthony, and I'm going to be going through the Gigabyte B450i Aorus Pro Wi Fi board. So, this is the board that I'm using for my parents' build in that little mini PC if you've been following my channel here as well and this is the easy mode of the bios so if you were to go into bios this is what you would see starting out and i'm probably gonna do a little bit of both uh, mouse and keyboard here i like the keyboard more but i'm noticing a few things with the uh, mouse that you're able to kind of see um, where you don't really see that elsewhere so this is a 3400g so ryzen 5 3400g in here nothing like a 3900x or something like that this is just a build for my parents that will last them many or quite a few years so it's got two 8 gig sticks to 16 gigs of memory it does tell you your speed here it does have the bios of f42a on here i don't have that's the latest one i put on here which was a few weeks ago so i haven't checked to see if there's a new one but they look pretty close to being the same I do have an XMP profile enabled on here, or it's in status of being enabled. The previous BIOS kind of wiped it out. And uh, the boot sequence, as you see here, is only the uh, Windows Boot Manager on that MP510 or the MP510 for that one terabyte storage. They do have some smart fan controls here. It does show you the fan profile boot sequence. You can go in there and kind of go through it you can click on all these uh, DRAM so you can actually if you click on here it just switches the profile as you can see um, information CPU temperature as well as that supported so you can turn it on right expert tech and also smart fan and it goes through with the warnings and CPU fan failure so it has that ability as well, which is pretty good for a basic item. Then you have the um, a more advanced version. In this version, you have a slide out on the side here. So if you go over, it shows you kind of some of the basic information here. It also has some stuff in the bottom. So you can change the language, go back to easy mode, go into the smart fan or Q flash. So if you want to flash your BIOS right here in Q flash as well. So there's a little bit here. Well, I guess I wasn't automatic already in it, one of these settings, but you go to frequency settings and it looks like some of these, you just type in what you want. Um, this is the profile. You can go disabled or enabled. I was expecting more of these to kind of pop up, but they don't. So that's, you know, extreme XMP profiles. You get your CPU settings here, more of them. SMV for your virtualization, your core, core boost. A lot of this stuff is gonna be auto for the most part, unless you wanna go in and really kind of overclock it. But what we're seeing with Ryzen, they're kind of optimizing their chips a lot and taking advantage of all the headroom in there. Maybe we'll see Intel do that one day. Um, According to the blog post, they want to leave headroom so people can go after it. And as far as I'm concerned, if I want to buy a processor, I don't want to have to tweak with it that much. It should be able to give me absolute best power or best frequency it can do without me having to tweak it. I paid for it, right? So um, I think that, that's kind of how it is, how I feel about it. And I like the way GPUs do it, right? A lot of GPUs do max that out. But as we go into here, you can see some of more about the memory timings and everything else i don't know why it oh it just goes around so you have to be you have to go slowly through here and this has got the timing modes voltages and all that stuff so it's really um just the memory settings there then you got advanced voltage settings and here i bet you if you turn more on you can adjust it more but you have the cpv core um you also have dram voltage across the board so a lot of stuff here if you want to tweak with it go ahead right gigabyte seems to i'm still learning gigabyte stuff i haven't used a gigabyte board in years so if you guys see something i missed sure leave a comment as well but it has a case open set all this stuff which fine i guess some people use the reset case open status but i don't miscellaneous settings you got your pci configuration and this has you can set up 
whatever gen you want it. It does say Gen 4. Huh, I thought AMD was going to take that out of these B450 boards. Um, the 3D Mark 01 enhancement. I don't think that this enables for legacy benchmarking. So, okay. That's something I'm really interested in. But they got Smart uh, Fan and then they got Q Flash as well. This will go through, then you select your BIOS that you want to flash to. And that's how I flash it through a USB drive. So, here's the system information. So, you got F2A, which is the BIOS I'm using. And the BIOS date is 731. So, about a month ago is when this came out or so. And I have administrative level on here. You got your date time. There may be a newer BIOS out. I know AMD is going to be coming out with one uh, new Aegis to help with boosting as well, but um, overall this machine doesn't really need it. Then it has, you go into your BIOS, which is your boot options, and you can, s so if you double click, you can uh, select which boot options you want for each one. Num status, security fast boot is disabled. I don't necessarily always, I just keep it mostly defaulted on that item. You can set a administrator or password or a user password if you want. You have some other options here with your storage controller, etc. Selecting which mode you want. So feel free to set those up um, how, you how you feel fit, right? A lot of this stuff is to go through and set it up properly so that you get the best options for your scenario and initial display output oh wait they have uh, CPU FTP I don't even know what that is and is it gonna show me no it just says enable disable so if you press alt in the BIOS you come up with a little help and some options I don't even know what that is I'd have to look it up so initial display output is PCI split. It should be in, I guess it doesn't matter. It just detects which one it is if it doesn't have it. Because I don't have a GPU in here. I just have the yeah, 3400G. So it just does whatever it needs. It has RGB fusion. So you can actually select it up through the BIOS. That's kind of cool um, that they all sets up in there. So for those for those of you that want that, that's their LED sleep state hibernate. So sleep hibernate and stuff, they are going to be off. So a lot of the stuff that I'm seeing in here for the RGB stuff, I actually set in software inside of Windows, and it actually synced to the BIOS someplace. So that's actually really cool. You can do the, your HD audio controller above 4 uh, G, gigabytes decoding. Uh, I think a lot of miners use that if I recall let's see yeah oh so yeah so this globally enables or disables 64 bit capable devices to be decoded above the 4 gig address space only if the system supports 64 bit PCI decoding and I think that's why a lot of items use it in mining but you can use it in other cases as well I've only used it right now in some mining scenarios only so um, I don't do much mining, but I dabble in it from time to time as well. Security device support, so trusted computing. That's actually good that they have some of this set up. I didn't even check to see if this had a TPM chip. I didn't think it did, but I got to set up some trusted, trusted computing stuff at work. And so I'll be interested to see which boards can support that. You also have your USB configurations here. Just kind of standard stuff with legacy legacy support, etc. MVM E configurations. I actually haven't even looked at this, but it's oh, it's just basically telling us what the drive is. So there you go. There's a the model number, vendor ID, device ID, size. Cool. Network stack. You can init. I think that's just enable or disable. Yep. AMD uh, CBS, so this is looks like some of their custom throttling stuff, or MP states that you can kind of F XFR enhancement, which you have to enable here. 
I'm not, like I said, my parents, this is going to be very good for my parents. I'm not going to enable it, but you could definitely enable it. And they have more where you have to accept it if you want to overclock. Um, and then here's more on the NIC configuration. Auto negotiate. So they got the link speed there. I'm on Wi Fi right now, so it's not even something I'm looking at. Or, so I don't. That works. I've plugged it in, I think, once, but it's on Wi Fi. I think my parents will plug it in at their place. Not like they can use it because their internet's super slow, but you know, it's just something else in the BIOS. They actually got a, quite a bit of stuff in here. I'm actually impressed with how much they put. So they have basically set this to auto on the chipset side. You can enable or disable forces so the integrated graphics is auto. So it kind of links back to some of the other PCI uh, video stuff that was in um, BIOS, I believe, underneath the BIOS tab. So you got SATA mode, you got NVIDIA RAID mode, which I'm not rating, APU SATA port, hot plug stuff. You got APU SATA port zero, you know, nothing's installed there. So just some basic chipset stuff telling you what's plugged in. So that's something if you care about. And then we go into the power tab as well. And AC back on, this is just going to be always off. In certain scenarios, I actually turn this to be a previous state or always on. So that if I were to plug it in, it does turn on. Especially if I'm going to go headless. I got a, some computers that are headless. So I like that. But then you got some other stuff here. And I don't know what all this is because I really don't care to, I don't, I don't keep it in my brain just to remember all this stuff because I don't use it. So you can go through and just set up all this, you know, soft power button, instant off, everything like that. And then you have your save and exit. So you can load profiles, save profiles, which I think is huge. You can boot override. Wouldn't help me too much. I just have one boot option on here. And then you can save and exit. So that's basically set up here in this whole scenario of the Gigabyte BIOS. Pretty straightforward overall. And I think if I play around with it a little bit more, I'm not going to have that much more time with it. My parents will eventually will get their computer right. And um, in doing so, they'll have it. They're not going to really be into it. But if you have questions about the BIOS, at least hopefully this can go through maybe where some stuff is. And you can get a little sense of what maybe even comparing bios or motherboards what they are but let me know in the comments below if you want me to go through the uh msi ones because msi i do have the msi box upstairs from the what was it b450i uh gaming plus ac motherboard and some of the new options for that with msi kind of reducing the size um, to make BIOS not as graphically so that they could fit more of the processors in there. So with the 3400G, I did have to upgrade it. So maybe I actually will create that as well. Might look a little bit different because it'll be a different screen. But um, here's what it, the, the Gigabyte BIOS does look like for this uh, B450i Aorus Pro Wi-Fi motherboard. I'm guessing other of their brands in this same B450 at least look kind of similar so thank you for watching thank you for taking the time to help spray over great overload grow i really appreciate it i do want to say god bless and until next time don't forget to like share and subscribe